सो दिस इज द फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स और द वीडियो सीरीज विच डील्स विद हाउ टू ग्रो योर यूट्यूब चैनल यूजिंग यूट्यूब एड्स और गूगल एड्स सो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज दैन क्लिक ऑन द आई बटन एंड यू कैन वॉच दैम एंड इफ यू डोंट वॉच दैम दैन बेसिकली इट विल बी हार्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट आई एम गोइंग टू यू नो टेल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो आई वुड डेफिनेटली रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच दोज वीडियोज फर्स्ट हैविंग सेट दैट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट गिव यू एन इंट्रोडक्शन यू ऑलरेडी नो हु आई एम एंड इट फील स्टम्प गिविंग इट ऑल द टाइम सो एंड दिस पार्ट वुड बी डीलिंग विद ऑडियंस टारगेटिंग and next one would be keyword targeting and the next one would be placement targeting this is how we would go on let me show you and let's go to my screen because this is purely practical okay purely practical no one on the internet will teach you the way i am teaching you so go ahead share it with your friends as well and help me grow as well well as we are on my screen right now so what we can do is we will just click on Oh, or we will first go to all campaigns. This is how we navigate, or this is how I navigate. I basically click on all campaigns from over here, and then I click on plus, and then click on plus new campaign. As I told you earlier, that we would be making without goal, and then video, and then custom video campaign, then continue. Now that I have told you that you have to make fifteen campaigns. now the first five of them would belong to audience pick up five audiences the top audiences which you want which i'll help you identify whichever niche you have okay just hold on to it just pick up five audiences okay and run ads on them and when you are picking an audience for example i picked up social media enthusiast in the last one so i was messaging my ads as well in that particular direction for example grow your youtube channel because social media enthusiast obviously 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 want to grow their channels so considering you are a health and fitness coach then you can write achieve your fitness goals or achieve something like that you know just you have to be contextually creative in nutshell so let me show you how it is done now i won't be doing all these nitty gritty things which are over here i'll just skip to create ad groups okay as you can see in front of your screen and then i'll go to audiences okay now there are two kind of audiences first one is affinity audience and then second one is in market audience and there is a difference between these two then there are custom audiences and remarketing audiences as well which i'll teach you remarketing audience is very essential uh post this lecture then next and then to the next in that i will be teaching you how to make remarketing audience so that you know you can take the benefit out of it so coming back to the topic now there are two kind of audiences which are affinity audience and in market audience so affinity audience is the one who has an interest in that particular domain and in market is basically those who are on an onset or on a, basically they are a, on a lookout or they are on a decision making okay they just want to buy that particular product for example you can be a car enthusiast you can know about everything which is you know a lamborghini series or uh, audi series you 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 might be knowing each and everything which is out there about those cars but you are an enthusiast so you would be considered in the affinity audience but someone might actually be looking towards buying that so who is he he is in the in market audience let me take a simpler example think of it as a person who loves apple who loves branding of apple who loves to serve the products of apple well there are hardly few many people who do that but just imagine so he would be in the affinity of smartphone but if he is going to buy or through his behavior google is able to deduce that this person looks like he is going to buy and how google is able to do that because every website has google pixels google has the access to your gmail account and everything so through that behavior google would know that this person might have added this particular product in their cart and they are you know on the last step of the decision making or the buying cycle so you would be in the in market so this is the difference between in market and affinity audience now let's say you are a health and fitness coach and you want to grow the subscribers so definitely you would want people who are in the affinity of it why because you want evergreen users the people who are on the lookout or who are just going to buy would not be evergreen users because they are just there they are going to buy it and they are going to move on to another thing but people who have the interest in that 
they would definitely stay for long so let's see let's browse and i'll give you how you should do it so i'll just go into affinity audience so there are a lot of drop downs and a lot of audiences so avid investors is one so the people who are watching right now this video and are gonna make content around investing or something else this is the audience which you sh should be targeting then beauty and wellness so all the <laughs> instagram influencers who are beauty influencers and who are aspiring to be so one of my friends priyasha khandelwal is also aspiring to be one so priyasha this one is for you then food and dining and priyasha this was your shout out in my video by the way so in food and dining if you are an enthusiast related to food and you want to make content around food or various kinds of food then obviously this kind of audience can be targeted okay then home and garden and all so this is basically an affinity audience i'll just reduce affinity audience for a while and then i'll go to in market or live events audience so in market audience is basically the audience which is on a lookout of buying something so as you can see beauty and personal care so i'll just click the drop down so the people who are going to buy so if you are doing an affiliate marketing kind of campaign then definitely you have to go over here and select these kind of audiences then you can go ahead and click on or choose an affinity audience you have to be smart in that aspect then there is live events audience okay I'll just close this live events so in live events basically business creation so i generally focus on people who have recently started a business because people who have just started a business have a higher tendency of opening a youtube channel so i go ahead and select those and run ads against them well i run an ads against a lot of people but this is how i do so go through all these audiences okay see basically when you hover over them they also give you the amount of impression which you would be getting so i would recommend you to check all the audiences pick up the ones or the five of them which are best according to you i would go ahead and say pick up 15 but group them group them in a manner three three each so that they are alike for example beauty and wellness might have a different approach altogether or might have a different set of audiences from different different kind of life or lifestyles but group them in a manner that they make sense and then run ads against them once you have a granular data alongside or next to every campaign you would be able to actually come to a conclusion which audience works for you and which doesn't and then you would be able to take a decision so this was basically all about audience targeting now in the next video i'll teach you how to go about keywords so meet you in the next video yeah